Welcome to another episode of Raw Drone Runs, the green Porsche 911 Turbo S in Top Gear America, Season 2, Episode 2. Um, Dax does a big review of all these different Porsches from over the years. So right here I'm going to show you what it's like for the drone operator to go out and capture this footage. Generally only very short snips will be included, but you got to get out and set these shots up. This time I was actually getting to work with the driver, um, and uh, so we timed this shot out where he would take off and then I would come whipping down the hill here and fall in behind him. Uh, this is a fast drone. This is a Catalyst Machine Works Bang God that definitely will do over 100 miles an hour, but this Porsche is extraordinarily fast, 650 horsepower. And you can see how I clipped a little bit of a treetop there on the way down. And I'm going, I'd say I'm going at least 80 miles an hour, if not faster. And he just takes off, gone. In this next shot, you can see I'm setting up, waiting for him to come around the corner. I've already got the Inspire 2 up in the air over there. I would just set that thing up to get shots like this, get these static shots. While I'm doing FPV, I would double up and get extra shots. So you'll see what happens here basically. I hear him coming and then I have only a moment to launch um, before he comes zipping by. This is a time when I didn't get to work with the driver. This is Dax out just ripping around. So I whip it up into the air as quickly as I can and then just go chase. And what you deal with on these kind of runs is a lot of speed variability. Like he slowed way down there and then he just takes off. And he's going well over 100 miles an hour on these uh, straights and then jamming on the brakes for the corners. So I'm just doing my best. Basically, this was, I think, maybe the first run on this section as well. So I was just out there trying to get a feel for it. And then he's going to keep going on that road. And there's a bunch of camera positions further down around there where other guys are going to be shooting with ground cameras. So I'm going to sit down. Boom, boom. <laughs> I sat down quickly and uh, swap a battery out and get ready for the next run. So then I would have swapped a battery and I've gone down here to the, that corner to wait for him to come back. And I'm just waiting, 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 and then here he comes. Uh, he didn't go, I thought he would be going faster than that. So I was gonna dive on him, but he was going slower, so I overshot him. And then couldn't catch up to him. Then I caught him on the corner. That would be a pretty good little snip right there. But you can hear it. On a lot of these, I'm just pedal to the metal with this bang god. And then having to slow down, slow down, slow down. And yeah, slow down and wait, and then he, then he zips. So my timing wasn't great on these first couple of runs. Uh, you're, you're definitely not getting that up close drifting style really close footage on these runs <clears throat> because there's just too much variability in the uh, the speeds he's punching up to well over 100 miles an hour on some sections and then slowing down to probably 40 for some of the corners uh, and you know with FPV you just can't just jam on the brakes so here are a couple of good sections where I got a little better I wish I had been aimed down a little more on this but uh, yeah, like I said, for these kind of things, you're really going for a couple of good moments because they cut really fast in this show. There's another pretty good moment. And then he'll be slowing down on this corner. So I'm going to have to overshoot. And then, uh, yeah, here's another moment. So this was probably... I think that yeah this is the one that leads up to the moment they they used in the show um, and they used a pretty good long snip of this when I get down to this next corner so I have I kind of go up and uh, you know wait for him to hit the hammer and then boom there he goes and you see how that thing takes off you can hear the engine too but uh, yeah they used a pretty good bit of that right there and then I think my battery must have been really dead here because 
instead of cutting across the gap, I'm actually sticking to the to the road, getting a little altitude. <laughs> yeah, I think I was making sure I could make it back, basically. Such a good time chasing cars around, working on Top Gear America is like a dream for sure. And I had it, I had the camera tilted back so far for speed. Of course, it makes landings extra fun. <laughs> anyway, be sure and like and subscribe so you get notifications of new episodes. And I'll see you next time.